So hello, good morning and welcome to uh, Camilla and I. Here we are at the Island Hyde Titchwell Marsh and uh, oh, what a beautiful morning. So I uh, want to start again to our second day in Norfolk and uh, yeah, it's looking absolutely great. Got a whole flock of golden plover and um, we're overlooking the Paranda Hyde awesome and I'm just working all the angles to see what we can get teal shoveler lapwing I think we've got some snipe over here but um, we're shooting with the Sun at uh, sort of ooh, 90 degrees so uh, yeah a bit of an angle this morning um, just put the two times extender on for the golden plover see if I'm getting a little bit closer um, because they're very nice and uh, we're shooting then with the two times converter f8 and it's one two thousandth of a second for movement and uh, one five hundredth of a second for stills hopefully if I keep it still enough anyway awesome so an absolute glorious morning already had a number of teal in really close to this uh, island hide. I've got a shoveler duck in my sights now. Oh, let's move an eye. Sorry? Nice to use have a silent shutter. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, so people think, oh, you haven't taken any shots, but... Uh, Don't worry, I wasn't fooled. Don't worry, no, no. <laughs> no. No, too many. That's the trouble. 30 frames a second. It's uh, not a good idea to keep your finger pressed on this button for too long. Well, I've just had some noisy geese in. Incredible. Quiet and down now. Of course, the uh, flock of golden plover. Knew I'd put the two hundred, uh, put the two times converter on. Because they've now moved off to about twice the distance they were before when I had the six hundred on. So, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Never mind. Well, the tactics with a large flock of birds is to uh, pick off the uh, edges of the birds, so uh, if you can. We've got brent geese there, I haven't seen those. Uh, right, so yeah, we're trying to pick off the uh, edge of the flock in flight. Like so. Easier said than done. Well, we've come down to the seaside at uh, Titchwell Marsh. It's one of these marvellous nature reserves where you're able to uh, film right from a sort of woodland area to a fen and then you can get seabirds as well absolutely incredible what an area so you can see the tactics on Camilla and I we got down fairly low using the trolley as a seat just where the uh, 
pocket DJI case is is where I sit and uh, yeah we're now to get pretty low and had some lovely bar tailed god whips when I was here two years ago I got the bar tailed god whip history doesn't repeat itself but it often rhymes and uh, boy yeah but I didn't have a 600 millimeter Sony A1 so uh, anyway hopefully the shots are even better So the aim at the beach is to keep the sand out of everything because, uh, boy, you don't want sand in your gear. Ooh, painful. So, uh, yeah, we've got a good, good level off the sand here, but you still want to remain low for those shots. And, um, yeah, I think I've got a couple of beauties today. I don't think they're quite going to win the competition, but we'll see. Um, Bartel Godwitz taking off. I got a couple taking off in unison and uh, that was um, pretty good and also um, a Bartel Godwit in flight um, and what else did I get in flight and also an oyster catcher coming towards me across the sand and I particularly like that one as well so uh, yeah tactics stay low keep out of the sand settings ooh well it's a bright day today and um, We've been anywhere between f5 and f8 and one two thousandth of a second to one three thousand two hundredth of a second for the in-flight shots. Absolutely awesome. When I was travelling to uh, Snettersham from Titchwell Marsh and I thought, God, it's an awful long way to walk around Snettersham. So uh, I thought, um, I saw this turn off to uh, Holm Dunes, North Norfolk Wildfowl Trust. And um, so I've called in here. And, um, boy, yeah, I'm quite glad I called in here. This is a gorgeous little spot too. And I'm about, oh, 50 yards from the car. And of course we all know the best shots are 50 yards from the car. Ooh. So the new plan is to hold up here till sunset, which is about another hour and a half, and uh, see what comes into this area, um, which I think would be quite good. I mean, I can't point them out now, but there's, I can see three waves. They're like waves of aircraft in the distance, slightly coming this way. So hopefully they're coming this way. Well, an amazing little encounter with a red shank. Quite a common species, but a uh, lovely little encounter. Got really close with this 600mm. Got some nice reflection shots. And uh, we're going into the uh, golden hour now. So it's absolutely superb. Well, Kestrel's back. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. yeah, the shots just haven't stopped all day long here on Camilla Night. Amazing day. When you get the light like this in winter, we've had eight hours from eight o'clock to four o'clock today to get some shots. And uh, again, have we got that winning shot? Who knows? <laughs> We'll see. I'll be entering the British Wildlife Photographic Awards again this year and uh, see if any of the uh, photos from Camilla and I are good enough this year. OK, cheers for now. Bye. Well, hi guys. God, exhausted after day two of the Norfolk Adventures. Oh, what a day again. The weather. The sunshine was as good as yesterday and um, beautiful start to the day at uh, Titchwell Marsh. Went straight for the island hide and um, got a couple of very close friendly teal, shoveler. Um, but the main event was overlooking the golden plover and um, great, lovely to get the golden plover 
little bit of video um, some in flock shots which are quite quite good quite some formation shots um, as usual with the golden plover I'd like it a bit closer put the two times converter on got to 1200 meters uh, 1200 millimeters so that was a bit better and then um, when I had enough of the island height waddled on down to the um, the coast and uh, as luck would have it the tide was coming in so able to position myself and um, get some pictures of the um, Bartel Godwit and um, yeah very pleased with those shots superb and then it was about lunch time so well I had a bit of lunch and then poddled off to um, Home Dunes um, a wetland trust Norfolk wetland trust site and um, I just nestled down 50 yards from the car um, to see out the day and I got some beautiful close encounter with a red shank absolutely lovely um, teal came pretty close as well I had one very friendly teal and uh, also the end uh, had a flock of curlew um, obviously roosting overnight in that particular area so uh, yeah not as spectacular sunset as the previous day complaints in the uh, comments column please but um, wow pretty good and um, boy I'm knackered and uh, whew, well we're off tomorrow to meet up with another YouTuber I won't tell you which one I'll surprise you next week um, when we go to Lake and Heath together um, so yeah I've got about hour and a half to drive tomorrow morning to Lake and Heath so um, yeah and meet up with this YouTuber and see what we can get at Lake and Heath Fen um, hopefully yeah one of these okay thanks for watching cheers bye from Camilla and I